Hello, everyone, and welcome to the ITS Champions League 2023 draw. We are we have arrived at the group stage of the Champions League, and we have 32 players, and we will be seeding them into groups as they continue for their quest to become the 2023 ITS uh, Champions League winner. Uh, now we've the qualifying rounds are complete. The domestic leagues are all complete. We've got the field of 32, uh, and we will be seeding. Uh, so we've <clears throat> separated all the players into four pots, and we will be uh, seeding these uh, four pots into eight groups. Uh, one player from each pot will go into each group. Um, so, we, and there are uh, certainly some limitations as to which players can uh, be matched up against each other. We don't want uh, players who, for example, matched up against each other in the same domestic league to also be in the same group. Uh, so we will take care of that. Um, but uh, in the meantime, let's get things going um, with, uh, with our, our first pot. So pot one, uh, here we go. Lots of uh, great players here. Lots of great players across the whole thing. Okay, Tim Furrow. Uh, Tim Furrow is the Atlantic League champion. Um, I, uh, yours truly, ran the Atlantic League. I, for the second year in a row, was eliminated in the first round. But Tim won the whole darn thing. So he slots in uh, to group A. And we will remove Tim's name and pick seven more. And Group B will be Zemowit. I think everyone knows uh, that player's name. He is the defending ITSL champion, defending Champions League champion, uh, and also won the Polish tournament as well. So Zemowit, uh, the most decorated player in the history of the game, slots into Group B. And Group C is Glenn Fermason. Uh, he is the winner, um, the winner of LFTS, uh, the uh, Spanish-speaking league, um, and he defeated Harib Flores, who, by the way, is keeping us online and on the air here. Harib, thank you uh, for your help with this, and thank you for running this draw. Uh, he defeated Harib two to one in the best of three final. Uh, he also played in the Federations Cup with Spain and, and earned the bronze medal there. So, Glenn. Uh, we'll slot into Group C. Five names left out of Pot 1. And it will be Patrick Gong, who takes Group D. Uh, he is the champion of Pacific League um, and also won the 2022 World Cup. So Patrick, quite an accomplished player. Um, and he sits in Group D. Song Hong Cho is slotted into Group E. He is the winner of the Korean League, KTSL. And look like uh, Tomash is in Group F. He is the runner-up uh, from the Polish tournament, runner-up to Zimowit. So certainly no shame in finishing second to Zimowit. Um, <clears throat> just as I finished second to Thomas Coverdale in this weekend's uh, Prezcon tournament down in Charlottesville. It was fun meeting uh, meeting Tim, Tom, and uh, Michael McKibben as well for the first time. Uh, Group G <clears throat> is going to be uh, Sheng Wei Chin. He is the winner of Chinese League. He also uh, is the champion of RTSL uh, and uh, is sitting in the top two right now in ITSR as well. So uh, that leaves Group H um, for Scott Sennon. Scott uh, is qualified as the ITSL, quote, champion. Uh, he actually finished third, but uh, Zemo had already qualified through other means. Zerun, who finished second, uh, would have qualified, but he declined to participate. So Scott takes that slot and uh, finishes out pot one. And we move on to pot two. Now, starting with 
spot two, we will have some limitations here as to which players can go into which group. We don't want um, players from the same, federa same federation or who played in the same domestic league to have to, to slot into the same uh, group in uh, in group play. So uh, Ryan Pindelik and David DiCarlo will not be able to slot into group A because they are both American players. And we will spin the wheel with the remaining six names and we will land on Hervé Godino. Uh, Hervé is the French League champion. Um, he is a 2023 ITSL All-Star as well. Hervé, a great player uh, and uh, certainly going to give Tim all he can handle over there in, uh, in Group A. Group B, uh, no limitations here. There aren't any Polish players in this pot. So any of the seven remaining players can land here. And Ryan Pinderlich, uh is going to slot in with Zimowit here in Group B. Now, I reserve the right to be salty because Ryan qualified uh, for Champions League as the winner of the OTSL. Uh, that is new this year. Last year, uh, the uh, OTSL champion did not get a bid to Champions League. And uh, so... Whoever won OTSL Season 3, you can't remember his name, was not uh, allowed to participate in Champions League last year. So I don't know who that was, um, but we, we move on anyway. Congratulations to Ryan for a Season 4 OTSL Championship, and good luck in Champions League. So here we are in Group C. Now, Harib is in Pot 2 here, but he cannot be drawn into Group C because Glenn played in his same uh, federation. And the wheel spins here, and uh, we will land on David DiCarlo, uh, who is a fellow American, a Texan, in fact. Um, and he qualified uh, by defeating uh, Daniel Squindo, in the, the second in the Italian League, and Javier Coca, the winner of the Catalan League. So uh, he makes it to the group stage um, after finishing second in the Texas League. We have four names left on the board. Excuse me, we have uh, five names left on the board, rather. And uh, Poe could not make it, it could not be slotted here into Group D. Uh, it'll be Jung Ho Lee. And uh, he finished third in the Korean League, um, qualified um, by winning a couple of uh, qualifying rounds after finishing third in KTSL, defeated Julie Ar uh, Ar 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 Arnalo and Jeremy Anders, who won the Illinois League. Um, and so he slots into Group D. And Group E, uh, any of the four remaining names can be slotted in. And uh, Tomas Tavaro is going to go in with uh, Sung Hong Cho. Uh, Tomas qualified as RTSL runner-up. Uh, he also uh, has the uh, uh, has won the uh, 2016 convention and uh, is a former OTSL champion as well. Won OTSL season two back in 2020. So Tomas, a very accomplished player uh, and a, a threat to. Uh, win any tournament he enrolls in. On to Group F, and that will be Harib Flores. Harib uh, finished second in the OTSL. Uh, beat me in five uh, thrilling games. Uh, we had a, a five-game series. He won it in uh, won it in five uh, in the semifinals. Uh, he finished second in the last uh, Mind Sports Olympiad. Second in the LFTS, uh, and uh, he won the last Grand Slam uh, Master Tournament. So uh, Harib has had a great 2022 uh, in Twilight Struggle, and we look forward to more great things from him in 2023, starting with, but of course not limited to, the Champions League. And Group G is going to be Peter. Uh, Poe cannot uh, make it to Group G, um, so uh, he will... Uh, because uh, Poe played in the Chinese League. So uh, Peter Varen will be in Group G, and Poe will slot into Group H with Scott Sennett. 
Uh, Peter is the Belgian league champion, uh, qualified from round one uh, with a couple of... Uh, a couple of victories over uh, Rebecca uh, Selms, David Person, and uh, Frank Rondepierre, uh, whereas Poe qualified as being from being fourth in the Chinese league. So lots of great players in both those leagues. And we move on now to pot number three. So in group A... Um, Uh, we have uh, eight possible names, but Michael Panettieri cannot be selected here again because he is an American player, so we don't want two players from the same federation in the same group. And we will have uh, Brian Wu. Brian is uh, a champion of uh, the, Brian is the champion of the Federations Cup. He won uh, with Team Hong Kong and also won the Hong Kong Cup uh, individually. So he slots in here uh, to Group A and he'll face uh, face off against Hervé and Tim, as well as a player to be named later. Group B, any of the remaining players can be slotted into Group B. We'll see who it winds up being. And Harib going to spin the wheel here. And David will go into uh, Group B. He is the winner of the Italian League, defeated Daniel Squindo in the final there. Uh, so the uh, Italian League Championship uh, earns him a slot in Group B. Now, Group C has David DiCarlo in it, so Michael uh, Panateri cannot be drawn into this group either. And it's going to be Pavel Janoszewski who qualifies here. Um, and uh, Pavel was fifth in the Polish league. He got a spot, and he eked into a spot in the qualifying rounds because Zemo had qualified in more than one way. Uh, defeated Tin Sum Cheng, who was the uh, runner-up in uh, from Hong Kong. And uh, Thomas Coverdale, the, the champion of the Texas league. And... Uh, a vanquisher of mine in the PrezCon tournament uh, in person. It actually beat me three times on that tournament. So congratulations to Pavel. Uh, Group D, we will have Frederick adler Kruitz, who won the Nordic Cup. Uh, so we have uh, uh, you know, a lot of good players over there. Anton Scott, Carl uh, uh, Johan Nordenstern. Uh, so great players there. Uh, and uh, Frederick qualifies there for Group D. Group E... We have four potential players. Any of them can make it into group E, and it'll be Leverage, uh, Leverage Zhang, uh, who finished second in uh, the Chinese League. So he slots in with Song Hong Cho and Tomash Tvaro. And moving along to group F, Three remaining names. Any of them can make it in. And will we have Jaime St. Clair? No, it'll be Michael Panateri. Um, rather, Jamie St. Clair, I should say, perhaps. Jaime. Um, uh, yeah, Michael Panateri uh, finished second in the Pacific League uh, to Patrick. And he uh, ended up third in Champions League last year and uh, also wound up second in three Grand Slams last year. He was also won the Pacific League in 2021. So uh, certainly a strong performance in these domestic leagues. Um, from Michael, and we have two remaining players left. Uh, looks like um, I'm a St. Clair, uh, who uh, finished up third in the UK League and defeated Ariel Lelouch, in the, uh, who won the Israeli League, and Antoine Danel, who finished second in the French League. Uh, and that leaves um, a Marquis for the uh, for Group H, and he won the Greek League, um, defeating Tassos in the final. I think we all know that name uh, well. And here we are in pot four, the, the final pot. So again, Group A, uh, Josiah Emery can't be slotted in here. Josiah finished second in Atlantic League. So we will have Christoph uh, Jakubowski here, and he finished up fourth in the Polish tournament. And... 
uh, Zimowit, uh, there, we apparently don't have much information about him, but Zimowit says he's the author of the Pure Europe Soviet Strategy. Uh, a lot of discussion about this in the WhatsApp group, where uh, the Soviet player used destall on turn one to try and uh, remove influence from Europe and go for immediate realigns in Europe and a Europe control victory. So we'll see if he tries that in the Champions League. Um, it is important in the Champions League to win quickly. There is value there, um, you know, in terms of turn score. Uh, you know, the best of two formats. So that it, so it is important. And if you can win quickly, uh, that gives you a, a leg up in terms of tiebreakers. Moving along to group B, uh, Ryan is in this group. Uh, and Woj uh, <laughs> also cannot be drawn in here as well as uh, Josiah. So uh, we will have five potential names for this group. And we will have um, everyone's uh, favorite Grand Slam administrator, uh, Tassos, will make it here. Uh, he will slot into Group B, and he was the runner-up in the Greek League. And so uh, an excellent performance here by uh, Tassos as well. Uh, winner of the UK League to boot. And here we are in... Group C, that's uh, BH Jew actually just played against him in the uh, in OTSL, and uh, uh, BH was uh, second in the Grand Slam series, and so uh, he will uh, take that spot from Korea. Group D, only three choices here. And we will land on, looks like, Eduardo Sanz, uh, finished third in LFTS. So another Spanish speaker in the tournament, uh, slotting here into Group D. Four potential names left. We have uh, three that can go into Group E. Young Bay Park cannot qualify into Group E. And we'll have Josiah Emery. Josiah, a bit of an upstart, um, you know, was uh, began the Atlantic tournament rated uh, in ITSR in the 400s, uh, but surged up the ladder, um, won his first nine games of the tournament um, to make it to the championship game before losing to Tim Furrow. Um, but a heck of a tournament for Josiah. He has earned, more than earned, his slot in the Champions League. Three names left now. Looking at Group F. And it'll be Young Bay Park in Group F. Uh, he is the... Uh, he finished second in the KTSL, and he also won a Grand Slam in 2022. Uh, this is his second KTSL championship, so he slots into Group F. And a Group G can only be uh, Dimitri. Uh, he cannot go into Group H. Uh, so that leaves uh, our friend Woj um, uh, Peterzak into Group H. So that completes the draw. Um, so Dimitri uh, finished third in the Greek League. Um, and was uh, able to uh, participate in qualifying rounds. He defeated Jan Wimmer uh, and Sean Williams to uh, make it into the main draw. Uh, and then Woj uh, qualified through the Polish tournament, finished out third, won the convention in 2018, and also has a Grand Slam championship in 2021. So congratulations to all of our Champions League players. Um, should be a, a heck of a tournament. Always an interesting one. Uh, we had obviously just one before, but hoping that we uh, we get more great Champions League action here. Um, the best of two format uh, makes things interesting as well as we uh, get into the elimination round. So players will play one game as each side. Whoever wins, if they split the two games, whoever wins more quickly um, moves on to the next round. So always uh, you know, fascinating to see how that changes the strategy uh, of the game. But um, for now, we will begin with group play. So uh, as you can see, um, some great players here. A lot of, uh, should be a lot of entertaining matchups. But um, that is going to do it for our coverage of the Champions League draw. Good luck to all of our players. Thank you once again to Harib Flores for masterminding the, the draw here. 
Thanks also to, of course, Luis Rubio for his work in putting things together, making sure we understood who couldn't go into what group and whatnot. Um, but he and Harib worked together to make sure that this went off smoothly. Uh, and so we appreciate all of their work uh, and everything that they do to make these leagues run as well as they do. Uh, we will be back on Action Round Zero with more Twilight Struggle uh, at a later date. Uh, this Saturday uh, is my hope as well. But we And we've got more All-Stars action to go um uh, to go as well we've got six more all-star games so look forward to that as well but until next time uh for harry flores keeping us online and on the air this is justin abramson signing off everything will be okay in the end if it's not okay it's not the end so long everybody